Welcome, welcome, welcome. I am super duper excited for Meet the Author, Captoria Cal. This has been absolutely amazing journey in self-publishing and to be able for her to share her story, how she got started, the ins and the outs about it. And I'm just too excited about this book for many reasons. After getting to know her and just knowing her story and how she took the time to be able to say, you know what, I'm going to own my truth in this. It made me want to be able to make sure she put out the best work yet. So if you hear me at the sound of my voice, trust and believe you won't be disappointed. Let me just introduce you. Captoria, Cal, how are you? I am marvelous. I am so ecstatic um, for this opportunity to actually come on this live and actually talk to you, actually talk to everyone about owning their truth, mm -hmm. healing from their past, actually being accountable for what has happened in mm -hmm. certain areas is something that may have happened in our lives. And we like, how did I get into that situation? Um, a lot of times it's unconscious and uh, it has to be, you have to get to a point in your life where you want to heal. Because if you don't heal, you're going to continue to go into the same cycles. Mm -hmm. Every time, it might be a different person or different situation, but it's the same result at the end. Mm -hmm. um, so my book is called My Soul Cracked Open. And it, it talks about the beginning because I was a, when I was a seed in my mother's womb, I had already had a had a assignment, and a lot of times we have to go through certain things in our lives to actually awaken that assignment. Mm. Um, when I was very young, um, I was molested by a by um a, a a 15 year old he was actually my babysitter's grandson um and it really it really really did a doozy on me far as my self esteem because actually before then I, I learned about abandonment before I was even born. Um, my dad uh, didn't take care of my mom like she should have when I when she was pregnant with me. So mm -hmm. I learned about abandonment in her womb. And um, when I grew up, and she told me that my dad really didn't take care of her. She had to go to families and friends to make sure that she ate a, a balanced meal. There were days when she just had a vitamin and water. So just imagine feeling all of those emotions because you are connected to someone at that time you're not you're not you're not detached yet so you feeling all of these emotions that was actually going on inside my mother's womb so that is very very deep and the more that i talk about it it really really gives me um an insight of how life really is. So that's why it's so important when you when when you when you start having children to make sure you're in a better place, like in mm -hmm. a better space mentally, emotionally, physically, uh, making the right choice for your partner. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm learn I've learned that 
my trial error, you know, and it is really, really something to really think about. Mm -hmm. And um, the book came about, my baby came about after I had did an anthology prior to my book, um, Breaking the Silence, Blue Code. And then I realized when I did that chapter, I knew I had more. And that was actually just a tip of the iceberg of my healing. Mm. Because after I after I, I wrote it, I read it. So when I read it, it's like, oh my gosh. All of that was in me. Mm-hmm. And I didn't realize how much was in me until I let go of the control and the insecurity that I was feeling that I couldn't do it. And I realized how amazing I am. And I'm just so grateful to Vanessa for pulling more out of me. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> but I'm so much more better mm -hmm. as an individual. And I look at things differently. And I look at people differently. Mm -hmm. Because we cannot judge anyone. We don't know their story. Yeah. We don't know what they have gone through. Mm -hmm. And just imagine sometimes my story was what it was for me. But when you listen to others, you'd be like, oh my God. Wow. I got a question for you. When you, you know, uh, people always say they want to be able to write a book, right? Mm -hmm. How long? before you decide to say, you know what, I'm going to jump on board to share my story. Because oftentimes people, they have an amazing story. People will tell them that they have a story, but for some reason, it's just that they just cannot um, believe in themselves enough to be able to share their story with the world. Right. And so they just don't share their story what made you say, you know what, I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to take this leap. I'm going to share my story and I'm not going to apologize for it. It took, it took, it took, a, it took years. And um, what happened was I end up uh, meeting a young lady. Her name is De, uh, Don, um, I call her D. It's, uh, her name is Deanna Henson. Mm -hmm. Chambers now. She's married now. I'm sorry. Chambers. And uh, she said, um, I would like for you to meet someone. Would you like to tell your story? And um, I was like, Ooh. I felt a little, I love, felt a little quiz there. I said, um, yeah. I was like, oh, yes, I would. Mm -hmm. I would. And um, so I met Shot Shot Shot. I'm sorry. Mm -mm -mm. Shot Shot. Oh my it's God. Okay. I can't get her name. It'll come out. Don't worry. And uh, Charlotte, she, oh my God. I, I mean, anyway, I'm just, I'm, I'm just, I'm just happy. Um, that I was actually introduced to Shante. She called herself Shante Latte. It's it's a it's a little name. I'm so sorry um, that I can't say her name correctly at this time, but it's all right. You get the book, you will see your name. <laughs> Right. There you go. Okay. 
<laughs> and uh, so um, it just once I opened up, emotions start really flowing because I had been it been bottled up inside of me for so long. Do you think that the things that you have experienced in your um, childhood, do you feel that this, and, and I'm asking you this for a reason, do you feel that it put a hindrance on moving forward with your life or your business because oh, yeah. of the things that you experienced? Now, with that being said, do you feel that now that you have released the book, that that um that your shoulders feel lighter now that you can see yourself moving forward and doing what you have been called to do um what you always dreamed about doing um because you you completely put it out there um and put it all down in your book yes cuz understand this once you speak speak your life no one can hurt you anymore mm -hmm. No one can come to you about anything because you already put it out there. So what can what how can I how can you be how can mm -hmm. someone hurt you? Yep. How? How? Because it's already there. I spoke mm -hmm. on it. And I spoke the truth. Not nothing that is fabricated by someone else or assuming what happened. Mm -hmm. I spoke it. So mm -hmm. there, there it is. It's already in black and white. So what I tell people all the time that you know once i've learned um the history of the pain and the trauma that i experienced in my upbringing and what how it was really crippling the things that i know that i need to do in my life or business and when i finally surrendered and just left it just like i just no longer could carry this burden with me i'm willing to do the work to heal from it it allowed me to be free again. It allowed me to find my voice. It allowed me to own my purpose. It allowed me to, to speak a little bit louder so you could hear me. It allowed me to share my story. It allowed me to own my truth. And with that being said, nothing that anybody could say or try to use against me of anything that I have said and experienced and shared, you cannot use the bullet that I have given you to kill me with my story. Right. Exactly. You you can't use the bullet that I gave you to kill me with my story and thinking that you're going to hurt me even more than what I already healed from. You can't really break a person down anymore when they already healed from the things that broke them. So I tell people all the time, don't hide behind your story, especially if you know it's crippling you. It's, it, it, it basically paralyzed you in a way that that muted you. Because somebody in the family, I don't know if they how they gonna feel about it, or you know, at, at the end of the day, did they feel, oh Jesus, did they feel a way when they did what they did or said what they said to you when they was doing it? Yes. Mm. So why are you focusing on how would they feel when they didn't do anything about it when you shared it? Absolutely. Who we? Mm. I'm trying to tell people, look, leave me alone. Leave me alone now. I, I work with people and, 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 it, and I really take these books serious because I've been through so much. And when I hear somebody else has been through some things that is relatable and they're not relatable, you're very protective of making sure that they put their best out there because you know the feeling of free Right? How yes. free you feel when you let it off of you. Exactly. Right? And, and the peace. That peace that oh, comes baby. over me. That, the that peace, peace is, that is amazing. I Since I have written my book, my peace is so important to me. Mm -hmm. And I refuse to allow anyone mm -hmm. to, in, to uh, in, dis, disrupt it. I, mm -hmm. I just, I refuse to. Cause yes. once I once I feel feel that you're disrupting my peace, you have to go. Mm -hmm. You can no longer be in my in my space. Because mm -hmm. I know yeah. my worth. Mm -hmm. I know who I am, and I'm going to stand on who I am, and mm -hmm. I'm going to keep my boundaries mm -hmm. that I need for my peace. Mm -hmm. So that's where I am. 
and it just feels so good. If it, it really does, it feels good. What's some of the feedback that you have received from people who have read your book? They have said to me, um, one young lady had bought um, several books for Christmas for her mm -hmm. daughter, for herself and her sister-in-law. Mm -hmm. She said her daughter, she said, oh, MG, she said she spoke my life and she said she was crying and she was able to really see and understand that she wasn't alone. Yeah. That she wasn't alone. And someone spoke up for her. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You Did know? you know that your book had went to and reached um, bestseller? When you told me it <laughs> So I was like, oh my God, for real. Let me just read. I want I want you to, I'm going to share this. Let me I'm gonna, I'm gonna get it get it ready because I don't know if you know this. Um I, I love seeing people win. I just I just do. Um Captoria got very real and close in telling her story, how changes in her life took place. Thank you for telling your story. I am so proud of you gives me an insight, reminds me of the reader that all obstacles can be made accomplished, give you insight of obstacles the writer had to overcome and the method she used to overcome them. Very well written about her life. No words, just applause. Congratulations. Awesome job. A good read. Very well written and keeps your attention. I read it on a Wednesday and finished it on a Thursday. Find me forgiveness through life is an asset. Let's say that again. Finding forgiveness through life is an asset. People don't understand how powerful forgiveness is. Yes. That's one of the hardest, but the most powerful lessons that I had to learn. Because the first thing that we think about when people say, well, you need to forgive X, Y, Z. And what do we say? Well, do you know what X, Y, Z did to me? And did da, 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 da. Why are you going around worried about or, or repeating this person did this and doing the head rotation, they went on to do it to somebody else. It's not for you to just say when they need to get a punishment, how deep the punishment need to be. You need to forgive them. And it's for you to get your healing so you can be able to start the work process that is necessary so you can be able to reap all the benefits of what's been holding you back. See, pain holds you back sometimes, but purpose make you sore. Oh, let me stop. Okay, hold on. One more, <laughs> one more, one more. <laughs> one more, one more. Pain holds you back. <laughs> But yes. purpose make you sore. Jesus. Yes. yes. I, I'm just speaking it because I lived it. The pain held me back for so long. It held me in shackles, baby. Yes. Shackles. I just told my sister, I had over 20 years of shackles that I had to remove in order for me to get to this place right now. But baby, when purpose came knocking, I was I was able to have access access is like where you want to start mm -hmm. all you got to do is just start and yeah. watch what happened pain produces purpose okay let me stop let me stop, let me stop. <laughs> when we find that we are our sister's keepers love respect and admiration comes in many ways telling her story has met this challenge that gives hope it shines a light on change and present possibilities for a new heart for the future. She shows me that I don't have to be stuck in the past. That's what, that's what you did. You did. Okay. This book is bountiful. Words of powerful knowledge and blessings. This book is a real game changer and it has helped me to open my mind and heart whew, 
and my eyes. Mm -hmm. I must have a piece of literature, truly an inspirational insight, reading of blessings and knowledge. Okay, I'm going to stop after this one. An excellent book to add to your toolkit for life. An easy read through complex life experience written in a style that allows for readers reflection. The author invites you on a journey of self-discovery through love, peace, and faith. You did that. You did it. Now, what if you did not share your story? It all it takes is that one person that we could be able to touch, to heal, and leave an impact on. And we would never know what that one could do and touch in the possibility of thousands they could reach due to us sharing our story. And you did that. You shared your story. You own your truth. No matter how painful it was, you did it. And you did it well. And that's why I give queens their crown when they earned their crown. You earned your crown. So you need to wear it. And wear it well, Captoria Cal. Yes. And I want to piggyback off of um, when you said about forgiveness. Forgiveness is a big part for you. Mm -hmm. You don't have to, you, once, once you have forgiven that mm -hmm. person, you don't have to bring that person back into your bosom just because mm -hmm. you forgave them. Because... Mm -hmm. Understand they serve a purpose. They had they they whatever whatever situation that had happened and occurred mm -hmm. was for your learning, but they serve a purpose, and now it's time for them to go on. Mm -hmm. And um, so I just want to let people know just because you forget, forgive them doesn't mean that you have to bring them back into your bosom. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying. You really just, don't. You, you really Because really, you, don't, you don't owe them any explanation. You just don't. They didn't explain why they violated you. So why do I have to explain why I forgave you? Exactly. We, we have to be able to just pick and choose our battles as to what we want to take on because we are ready to take a, a lot on along the way in life. But if we take on you to be able to accept or acknowledge what you've done to us before we could be able to move on, we're going to do sit here for a while. We go, we, we may, you know, we're going to sit here and what pay pity pack. Well, what are we doing? Right. I want to be able to move on with my life. I want to be able to see what's the, what's the possibilities of my life. What what how can I turn this situation around? Right? right. Mm -hmm. For me. Mm -hmm. Not exactly. for you. Because exactly. you already did what you did and it's fine over there. Right. But I'm going to go on over here and get me some peace because you I'm not going to allow you to be able to be the reason why I'm no longer breathing because I allowed you to take my pulse. Mm. Go ahead, girl. Yes. We can't do that, right? Yes. Because we have a reason for living. We have a reason to strive. We have a reason to be able to show up for ourselves. We have a reason, right? So we decided to take what the enemy did for evil and we turned it to good. Yes. And with that being said, I'd rather to turn things into good. So when God says our time is up, I want him to be able to say job well done my child because at the end of the day we all belong to him at the end of the day we all have to answer to them so those people who have done us wrong they got to answer to him yes so that's why we have to forgive so we could be able to move on so god could be able to pour into us the way that we need to be poured into to be able to hold us up when we feel weak when we're going through this journey of healing when to be able to comfort us when those people that we thought was going to comfort us didn't comfort us when we need somebody to call on they, they don't even answer no more but we know we could call on to god i'm just saying if we're going to do it just do it do it all the way all the way we can't we can't do this forgiveness partial we can't there's no partial i'm going to partially forgive you until you take no you're going to either forgive 
and you're going to let that thing go so you can be able to move on. I didn't say send the person an invitation to your wedding. I didn't say send them an invitation to your dinner party. I didn't say none of that. You're going to go ahead and forgive so you can be able to go on and live your best life. Yes. You owe it to you. You don't yes. owe it to them. Yes. They made their decision. They choose not to do right with their life. But I'm not about to let you take any more of my time of my life that you have taken. I'm taking it back. Yes. And I'm not going to ask for permission to take what's already mine. Already mine. Okay. I need to stop. <laughs> I am my sister's keeper. I am mm -hmm. my sister's mm -hmm. keeper. I will adjust your crown. Mm -hmm. Okay. I mm -hmm. will adjust your crown. Mm -hmm. Because I love you. And I'm speaking to anyone that's on this line because it's necessary for us to love each other. Us as women are targeted. I don't know why this is this is the second time that I've that I've been speaking about this. We are targeted because of the strength that we have. Yeah. So we have to stop becoming our own enemy. Mm. Or think that the next woman is our enemy. Yes. Yes. It's Everybody funny. is not our enemy. Everybody mm -hmm. is not our enemy. We may, may not respond the way you want us to respond. We may not show up the way you want us to show up, but we are building up to something. Give, give me grace. It's okay. Give me grace. I may not be where you want me to be, but I'm working my way up to it. Just don't forget about me. Ooh, yeah. Don't, don't forget, forget about, about me. me. Don't forget about me. Because and listen, we are forgotten often. We are forgotten often, especially them strong ones, the strong ones that have to hold everybody down. We, we have to be able to pull them up at the same time. We're getting pulled in all types of different directions and nobody don't stop back to say, you know what? Hold on. How was your soul? Better yeah. yet, how was your mental? How was your heart? <laughs> how was your heart? Right. And we have yeah. to be able to take those moments out to be able to just pour just a little bit. If it's two minutes, that two minutes that you don't pour to somebody else, you help them. Just like reading your book, you help somebody who read that book. Somebody said they read it on a Wednesday and finished on a Friday. You don't know what that person was dealing with. You don't know what they was up against, but you don't help somebody else get off that ledge because you shared your story. It's something that they are too afraid to talk about, but they are a little bit, they, they easing in a little bit more to say, dang, I can relate. I, I, I didn't know that I was not alone. But I'm glad she shared her story, but she helped me along the way because she shared her story because she is me and I am her. Yes. Yeah. And when you got that type of thing going on there, how can you go wrong with helping and healing somebody else that's been empty for so long? And they look at just looking for somebody to say, you know what? I can relate. But baby. I need you to get on up. I need I you to get up. You. I see mm -hmm. you. I see you and I, I hear you. you yes. Right? Mm -hmm. and, and and that alone is, is something to give them comfort. There's so many people that have ran on E for so long. So long. Even when I just think about it, I don't know how I'm, I'm bringing this up. This is the craziest thing. But even when I look back, even at the upbringing that I had, it was so toxic, so dysfunctional, so disgraceful, so painful. But when I look at the history of who contributed to my pain, somebody else contributed to their pain and yes. gave permission for it to continue to happen. So nobody set the boundaries for them to say, hold on now, just because they did it to you, you're not going to do it to me. That's right. Right. And yeah. so I've learned that with me setting the boundaries for those people who have hurt me. Now you you they look at you different. Either they say, dang, I got mad respect for you or who you think you are. Let me tell you who I am, because evidently you didn't know. Uh, that's right. 
That's right. Right. And so that's why we have to share our story, but most importantly, own our truth. Yes. And just like when when um, I was talking about my dad and how he showed abandonment um, before I was even born. I forgave him before he passed. He he's um he died in the early 90s. Mm. And um he died of colon cancer. Mm -hmm. And um I forgave him beforehand. But mm -hmm. I I sit back and I looked and I realized how he was taught abandonment too. Yeah. Even though my parents, even though my grandparents were, they raised, they, they really didn't raise him. I found mm -hmm. the story out that they, he wasn't even raised by him. And so he didn't even know how to be a, a father. But I still don't um, give him a pass because once he become an adult, you know how you want your children to be treated or how you want them to be um, feel. So mm. he didn't make the, he didn't make the change within himself to make the change for his offspring. So make me say something. I'm trying to be nice. <laughs> <laughs> so Woo. I forgive him, but I do not, I do not, um, actually um forgive the way he did his you know his rearing when it came to me because he taught me about multiple women he used to have yeah every time i would i would he would come and get me it would be a different person if he stopped past the house it would be a different woman and so i didn't know i didn't learn about uh, a, a, a healthy marriage my mother and my father um, divorced when I was very young. My, I actually witnessed my father putting his hands on my mom. Mm -hmm. I was seven years old mm -hmm. and I actually witnessed that. Mm -hmm. um, so I witnessed toxicity in relationships. Mm -hmm. So yep, we turn around and we date men and just like our parents. Exactly. Just like them, you know, even though I don't have, I have two living parents, you know, this, I have two living parents and I don't have a relationship with neither one of them. Um, I had said something to my mother a couple of years ago and she had found out that I had wrote, um, in the deer, I wrote about my father in the dear dad book and she was shocked. And she, and I said, well, I'm about to write about you in the dear mom book. And she like, well, her eyes got big eyes welled up with tears in her eyes. And I said, you know, Something that you fail to forget is not my place to expose you. Mm. It's, it's not. I said, when I say that I forgave my parents, I forgave them wholeheartedly. Yeah. Not be, for their mishaps, not for what they should have done, what they could have done better. I, I forgave them wholeheartedly. Mm -hmm. I, it didn't happen easily, but I forgave them because I got a chance to know the history yeah. Right. Yes. And with me able to know the history of them, where their brokenness come from, you know, the contributing factor to it and how damaging both of them were. I had two damaging parents that produced three children mm. that were that were damaged as well. Right. Mm -hmm. Along the way, mm -hmm. I was the first one. I'm blessed to say I'm the first one in this family. God, it, ooh, he covered me to be able to break the generational curse on both sides now. The yeah. first one. So for me to forgive them, I had to do it wholeheartedly. I couldn't do partial. I couldn't do bits and pieces. I know how to handle them accordingly from a distance. I love you. I yeah. do. Yes. I will handle them accordingly. Yeah. So when you say that you, you, it was hard for you to forgive your dad in a certain aspects of how he handled you, forgive him all the way. Mm -mm. Oh all yeah. The way, wholeheartedly I all the way and trust and believe when I learned how to forgive. And it was, that's the, man, that's the hardest lesson. Jesus Lord. 
but it's so well worth it. And there's so many lessons that's behind it that allow me to learn how to forgive others who've done me wrong. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. Because they were done wrong and somebody gave them permission to continue to hurt them. Mm. Well, you don't get the permission to hurt me anymore because one, I'm going to walk away and leave it alone. I'm going to go do my healing. Right. I'm going to see how did I put myself in this position so I don't have to come back again. Exactly. Right. I'm going to I'm going to be willing to sit in this pain just a little bit longer so I can know I'm not coming back here. Right. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm going to forgive you. You're not going to know how to handle me because I don't forgave you. you. It's people right now. It's crazy that people who have done me wrong, um, that how my response is now. They're like, she didn't come here cussing the care. No, because I'm mature enough to deal with my emotions. But I also understand that you you don't even get it. So why should I explain? Why should I give you any of my energy? That's my energy and my time I'm giving and wasting on you like I used to do. Used to, Pat, I, I'm not doing that anymore. So I could be able to sit at the table right from you and still be, hey, what's up with everybody else? And I could be able to just be cordial. Hey, how you doing and keep it moving? But no, you do not get access to me anymore like you used to. You don't, you don't get access to me. You, you lost those privileges when you violated me. Ooh, let me get off of here. They lose. Stop. Getting, okay. I'm going to say this one more again. You lost access to me. Yes. When you continue to hurt me. Yes. Okay. Yes. When you can be that bold and I can sit across from you. I already know what you did. Even though you decided not to acknowledge it or not, God bless you. I wish you well. I wish you peace and no harm. But I'm going to go over here and get this blessing, okay? All right now. And once I've learned that, I knew that's some true healing for your ass. True healing, right? Because yes. it was like I was still that tug of war, you know? But I had yes. to get there. I had to get there. I just there. had to get there. Had and once I there. was able to be up for the challenge, when it, when it was unexpected, when I walked away just to reflect on a day, I said, dang, Vanessa, you really have grown beyond the things that people have done to you. Dang. I can't wait till more people get that feeling because there's levels to this thing. There's definitely levels to healing, but you got to be willing to do the work to get your healing. It's not going to happen overnight, but you could get the healing. You don't, don't, don't expect no apology, but you can still get your healing. You don't have to go and get permit. You still could get your healing. So as you wrote, your soul cracked open. Baby, I want everybody at the sound of my voice to make sure you go to the website that's listed below, Divine Present Holist. Go and get your autographed copy of Captoria's book. You will not be disappointed. She's very transparent in her story. She owned every bit of it. But the most and purpose thing, she pushed something that she held on to for a long time. And what she did, she birthed something that absolutely is leaving impacts on people's lives and letting them know if I can overcome it, you can too. Yeah. Captoria, thank you so much for the opportunity to be able to trust the vision of Inspired by Vanessa and sharing your story and owning your truth. I'm looking forward to the many, many things that's going to take place in your journey. Yes, so because I'm I'm on a project now of um, actually starting my holistic health coaching. Um, I'm getting getting ready to get certified in November so that I will be able to be nationwide. Um, so I'm really into the holistic health. We have to get back to us. Um, they pushing this processed food so much. But 
the live food is what's happening because that's what keeps us together that keeps our immune system together that keeps our um, cells constantly regenerating when we eat live food and live food is your leafy foods um i'm getting to the point where i'm starting to i can't wait this year i'm so excited i'm going to be doing <laughs> doing my my garden because honey you know what you're putting in your in your food when you grow your own food yeah um, I, I, you know, even if you just start off with a small little pot and just start from there, it yep. will be a world of difference because that's what it's your creation. Yes, it is. It's your creation mm -hmm. and you're given. So when you're given to yourself, you got to give your all. Mm -hmm. It's a so, whole body experience. Yes, it's a whole body experience. And when you taste it after it grows to its full potential and you taste it, and you're like, this is what I did. Yeah. Just like when it came to my food. Yes. This is what I did. And there's many more to come. Mm -hmm. Many more to come. Because I am a poet as well. So I am, my next book is going to be a poetry book. So. I'm just so grateful for you, Vanessa, for you, Aww. for me listening, for me listening, because when I saw you on Facebook and I said, she is the one that's going to help me with my book. <laughs> <laughs> she said to me, no, she's the one. She's the one. She is the one. And so I'm Aww. like, she's the one. And I just, I knew it. I was like, I am just so so grateful and i'm so thankful that i listen and because you are awesome mm. you are amazing you have so much more to give and i love when you tell me uh-uh uh-uh <laughs> that ain't number love though because mm. you want the best for me yeah. and you want me to pu push to my potential yes so, that's who you want in your corner. You mm -hmm. want someone that is passionate to see you win and not jealous. And now when they see something that they're not going to embrace it and know that it's yours. You understand? That's where it, that's where it's about. It's not about you're just putting out something and you don't have an attachment to it because I experienced that. I experienced that I didn't get what I needed to really push to my 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 full potential. And when you get someone in your corner, because it's rare, because everybody is about themselves these days. When yes, you get someone that's in your corner that is pushing you to be the best person, ver best version of you. You hold on to those people because it's not many. And then sometimes I'm going to keep it. I'm going to keep it 100 that they will see what you have and they will use it because you're not you're because you're 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 naive to everything yeah. that it comes to that comes to actually getting it done. So you'll be so naive and they didn't took your they didn't took your creation and you don't even know it. Yep. So when you get someone that is genuine, that is led by their creator, not by themselves, but led by the yeah. creator, that's who you want in your corner. Because when you win, she wins. Yep. And we win together. Mm -hmm. And then it multiplies and continues to be abundant. And it's limitless. Yeah. Limitless. I'm just. Wow. Mm. Mm. Girl, you have so much. You have so many other people that's. Yeah. You got. I, 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 I told you I got two more people going to be calling you there. Look, 
I put it out there because I want them to win. And they had they have some they have some stories too. And they need a lot of people don't know about the self publishing. So when you have someone that's really knowledgeable about that, hey, she's the one. Vanessa inspires <laughs> you to be your better you. And she will cut your ass out too. <laughs> But it's all in love, though. It is. It's all in love. I love seeing people win. We got to get out of our own way. I tell people all the time, I made the mistakes so you don't have to. I'm telling you what not to do so you don't have to go through that torture. I want to see you win. I want your people to know your story. I want you to be able to say, dang, I did this. I did this. Like I did the work. I'm healing. I'm looking at the people who are saying these things about my book and my message. And I, I want to see you on big stages and in other, other other platforms. I want that. I don't have a problem with sharing because it's so much out here for everybody. I'm just Vanessa Canterbury, a, a person who started her business, and I can't believe it's going to be it's ten months this month, ten years. 10 years inspired by Vanessa was birth 10 years and I'm writing my 10th book that's going to be released in August of this year God man look God is awesome. absolutely awesome. amazing when I say amazing he blows my mind every yeah. time yeah. every single time and all I could do is say thank you yeah. so thank you for trusting me Thank you for um, allowing me to push you. <laughs> yes, she pushed. Yes, she pushed me. Yes, and I'm. I mean, when I said what I said, it's all in love. It's nothing. Mm -hmm. It's no disrespect because she's looking at you like you her sister. Yeah. So when you don't always talk nice to your sister all the time, when you're trying to get her to get it, get it to really get mm -hmm. it. So. You know, I just love because I'm an only child. So I, I ask God for my tribe and she's a part of my tribe. Aww. And that's just that's that's just she's going to be a part of me until God calls me home. That's going to be a very so. long, long time. Soon. Long time. Exactly. <laughs> very long time. Very long time. Yes, ma'am. I mean, I am so grateful. I am so grateful for you. OMG. Look, she's going to be on all my projects. Trust me. <laughs> all my projects. Aww. All my projects. And I'm going to be, when she need me for anything, I'm there. Aww. I'm very loyal to the ones that are loyal towards me. Mm -hmm. And you oh have to goodness. be that so way. Thankful. I'm so you thankful. Yes, I'm so grateful for you. Oh, wow. I really am. I really am. You are you are a diamond. You mm. are a gem. I mean you don't have me crying on here now. I mean, I can't help it, but I because <laughs> I because I'm I come from love because I am love and I'm gonna show you love because that's what you deserve. That's what you deserve. I don't care what has happened in your life. God will give you what you need. Yeah. He will give he will. you the people that you need. He really will. That is for sure. And I, I'm, I mean, I'm just so, so, so grateful for you. And I, anybody that comes to me that's ready to open up, you are the person that I'm going to recommend. Oh, I mean, I, I, I mean, you speak. It speaks for itself. Look, look yeah. at that. I mean, it speaks for itself. Look at there. Look at that. She did the. She did the book cover for me. All I did was gave her a picture of me and told <laughs> her exactly what it is that I wanted, and she went on and created it exactly the colors i ate i told her the colors she did this mm. she did this. i have an amazing team of people that god has yes. blessed me with yes 
Amazing yeah. team. I'm grateful. I'm very, very grateful. Yes. Very, very grateful. Thank so you thank for you. your team. <laughs> yeah, my team. Now, there's you. no way I can do it without my team. Thank I you. Thank you so team. much. So, I mean, so much. Uh, I mean, she walks you through. She walks you through. She walks you through and she makes you she makes you feel comfortable to just being you. And yeah. even in your even in your in your time when you get to the I, 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 I don't know what the I don't know. I'm thinking I'm 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 all emotional because I call her, I tell you, I call her and she I'll be like, I'm all emotional. I don't know what's going on. I'm all emotional. Calm down. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's the, that's part of the process. Yeah. My my my. If yeah. you don't have those emotions, especially it gets really intense when it get close to your book being released, then something's wrong. Because I'm like, okay, you don't have no emotions. What's going on? Right. So that's a good thing. That's a good right. thing that your emotions. And then I want you to tap into those emotions and use it. Use it for a great thing because you did something that many would have never done. And, I, and I'm going to say this and we're going to leave is that I, I'm a believer that we all are called, but few are answered to the call. Right. We don't get a chance to get to know people's what they what they could have been mm -hmm. if they would have answered a call to their purpose, mm -hmm. because it, it went to the most expensive place on earth. Don't allow the, the gifts, your purpose that God has given you to go to the most expensive place and your legacy didn't get a chance to meet it. Woo! Gotta go on that one. Shamika hmm. Latte. That's the name. Shamika <laughs> Latte. <laughs> you said it was going to come. <laughs> yeah, no. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> This has been absolutely amazing. Yeah. Make sure you guys reach out to Divine Present Wholeness and get your autographed copy of your book. She has some amazing things that she is working on. So make sure that you stay tuned and you follow her all over social media at the same name that's listed, Divine Present Wholeness. And if you are interested in writing your own self-published book, feel free to reach out to inspiredbyvanessa.com and see how I can be able to help you birth your book. With that being said, Captoria, it's been such an honor, such a pleasure to get to not only know the author, but just to see you in your now. That alone, baby, is absolutely amazing. So give some closing words and we're going to go ahead and close this thing out. I want to encourage each and every one of you to go inside of you and see you and know that you are worthy. Mm -hmm. You are worthy of every great thing that God has for you. Mm -hmm. And just move through it. Love on who, love everyone, the ones that even hurt you. Love them. Mm -hmm. From a father, though, sometimes but you gotta love them from a father. Mm -hmm. Don't keep bringing them in your bosom, yeah. but forgive them as well so that you can move on. Mm -hmm. and can't I, go wrong, you cannot go wrong thing. with that. Cannot go wrong with that. I'm so proud of you, Captoria. You, you did it, you, you absolutely did it. Yeah, and with that being said. We will be talking to you soon. Make sure you get over there and get her book. Make sure that you connect with her. When I tell you, you won't be disappointed because I read every last one of the books. Yes. And if I see something missing, I'm going to let her know. Yeah. So <laughs> I'm sure. uh -huh. just, just make sure that you connect with her and get your autographed copy of the book. Again, you will not be disappointed. With that being said, good night. Good night.